This Weber Q barbecue grill was suffering from the low flame issue. Today, I will show you how I fixed it, all the parts I used, how I put the whole thing together, and I'll put links for each of the parts in the description below. Stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you how I use this grill with five and 20 pound tanks. The low flame issue with this Weber Q barbecue grill was a worn out regulator. Now all gas grills have a regulator, but for some reason, the factory regulators that come with the Weber Q grill, they seem to wear out more often. The factory replacement regulators for the Weber Q grill, they're a little pricey. So here's the less expensive version that I came up with. So to replace the regulator, first I had to take out the burner tube, and then I had to take out the valve stem and the old regulator assembly. With the valve and regulator assembly removed, you can see the repair that I made. Now the new build only has three components to it. There's the new regulator, it has the one pound cylinder adapter, and then it has the hex bushing that's going to connect to the existing valve on the grill. The regulator has quarter inch female threads on both the inlet and the outlet ends, and the one pound cylinder adapter has quarter inch male threads. And the hex bushing on the outside has quarter inch male threads and inside is 1 8 inch female threads. I've seen some videos on YouTube where folks have changed the size of the orifice for the gas inlet, but that's not going to solve a problem with your regulator. This Weber Q grill had a bad regulator. That's the solution that I came up with, was changing it with this regulator. The build for the regulator assembly is pretty straightforward. I just took my fittings and I put them together with some yellow Teflon tape. I had the adapter for the one pound propane bottles on the inlet side, and then I had the hex bushing that I put on the outlet side, and that's for the factory valve. You can see that replacing the regulator solved the low flame issue on this Weber Q grill. That flame is nice and tall, it's hot, and it's completely fixed. Now let me show you how I use this grill with a five and a 20 pound tank. I use an adapter hose, and you can see that the one end of the hose is just like the one pound bottles, and then the other end of the hose, it just goes right onto the valve of the propane tank. This expands your options for propane. I'll put affiliate links to all the items I used in this video today. I made another video about this grill and I'll put that link right here. If you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to support the channel, subscribe. I'm glad you watched and I hope you watch again.